Hi, sorry about that. My uh, my son come up. Um, only one of his toys from the loft. So, uh, where was I? Yeah, I was just sort of showing you these, wasn't I? Um, there's all different carving tools in there. Um, different things to do. Different bits. Um, now, as I say, I'm going to put uh, rock moulds on here. See if that does it any better. I'm still doing my waterfall down here. But I'm going to try and do an outcropping that comes out a bit so the water comes down. And then have a little bit sticking out maybe. And then say, there's some water there. But I've got to figure out how to do my water on top here. So again, comment if there's any suggestions. Um, I'm going to have a go at ballast in the track. I found some ballast the other day in amongst all my gear. So I'm going to try that. And say so this will be all grassed. Maybe sort of a bit of rock face in there. All grass, and I'm going to have some trees across the top here. Yeah, so but along here, I'm going to try and fit in some of this that I found. Again, ignore the price. Um, I mean, it's that old. Look, look, see if I can focus on that. No, it won't focus, but it says the signal box telephone 0634. I'm not going to read the whole number out, but you know. That's how old it is when it had the four digit area code. But yeah, as I say, um thinking of putting that in as a retaining wall. I mean that should be high enough, shouldn't it? What's that about three or four inches high? When you say three or four feet then. Um and then I'm gonna try and use this. It says it's cement rendering, but I'm thinking that that might be good to do capping stones and just like bits across the top, just to make it look uh, a bit more realistic. But the problem I've got is if I come up and look down on the layout like this, or the diorama, sorry, it's still pretty close to the track. So, um, yeah, as I say, it's pretty close to the track. I don't know whether, I mean, I'm just trying to get in at the side maybe. Yeah. It might just sort of be alright to come along here. So, again, tell me what you think uh, in the comments. You know, if you've got any other suggestions. But yeah, that's what I'm looking to use. Um, yeah, so... I don't know if there's anything else to sort of say now. Um, so I've got to clean all this up, get all this off of here, because obviously I don't want it all the way down here. But that has come out pretty well. So, yeah. There you go. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to leave it there. So um, I'm going to... I'll, as I'll upload this either overnight or tomorrow's evening. Um, someone also, sorry, did mention about, because I have noticed now he's mentioned it, that the track isn't the same distance apart. And I have got a tool somewhere. I've got to find it. And I'm thinking of maybe lifting the track up. I know it goes under the tunnel bit, but lift it up and see if I can maybe sort that out. And maybe I'll put some cork underneath this time. So when I ballast, I've got a bit of a shoulder on there. So the only problem I've got is it, I'm hoping it won't put them out of line. I might leave it as it is. You know, it's only a diorama. It's not an actual layout. Um, and just ballast it. Um, you know. Again, let me know what you think. Right, yes. Anyway, again, I'm rambling. I'm going to go. Um, I'm quite pleased with how that's come out. And... Um, Hopefully I'll uh, I'll be back soon, and it might have. I'm gonna try and get some colour on here um, as well. So, okay, thank you for watching. As I say, comment with any suggestions, ideas, or anything you might think that I've done wrong. I like a bit of criticism. You know, that's what we hit. What it's all about: learning from your mistakes. And uh, see you on the other side. Okay, thank you. Have a lovely evening. Goodbye.